outcome of laboratory session. Able to determine the aggregate crushing value ACV, which indicates the physical strength of coarse aggregates in accordance with the relevant standard. Objective to determine the aggregate crushing value ACV of coarse aggregate samples in accordance with BSH 1 2 Part 110 1990. The aggregate samples are first sieved on 14 mm and 10 mm sieves. Only the aggregates passing 14 mm and retain on 10 mm sieves are used. The aggregates are washed if they appear to contain excessive dust. The aggregates are then dried in an oven at 105 plus minus 5 degree for not more than 4 hours and subsequently cooled to room temperature prior to testing. The appropriate quantity of the aggregate samples to be tested is measured by filling the cylindrical measure in three layers. Each layer is tamped with the rounded end of the tamping rod 25 times from a height of 50 mm above the sample. The excess aggregates are leveled off by rolling the tamping rod across the top of the cylindrical measure. The steel cylinder is placed centrally on the top of the base plate and then the aggregate samples are filled into the cylinder in three approximately equal layers. Each layer is tamped 25 times using the tamping rod from a height of about 50 mm above the sample.
The surface of the third layer is leveled and then the plunger is placed on the top of the aggregate. The assembly consisting of base plate, cylinder filled with sample and plunger on the top of the sample is carefully positioned on the lower plate and of the concrete compression machine. A load is applied at a uniform rate until the required load of 400 kN is reached within approximately 10 minute plus minus 30 seconds. Applied load is then released, and the crushed aggregates are removed from the cylinder by hammering the outside of the cylinder wall so that the aggregates fall freely onto a clean tray. All fine materials adhering to the bottom of the plunger and the inside wall of the cylinder are removed by brushing with the stiff bristle brush. The mass of the crushed materials is recorded as M1. Then the crushed aggregates are sieved passing 2.36 mm sieve for one minute using the sieve shaker. After which the mass of the materials passing M2 and retained M3 are recorded. The difference between the initial mass M1 and the total mass M2 plus M3 is checked. If the difference is more than 10 grams, the results are discarded, and a further sample is tested. The test is repeated on a second sample. The aggregate crushing value ACV is calculated and expressed as percentage to one decimal place as ACV equals M2 divided M1 multiple by 100. The mean of the results from the two samples is calculated to the nearest whole number. The mean is reported as the ACV, unless the individual results differ by more than 0.07 times the mean value. In this case, the test is performed on two further samples and the median of the four results is calculated and reported as the ACV. Results and Discussion Discuss the suitability of the tested aggregate samples for concrete construction application based on the ACV.